What's up, beautiful people? Welcome to the Full Moon in Cancer. This is a workshop for everyone. You don't need to be uh, a Cancer yourself. This Full Moon will affect all of us. Trust me. Um, I'm feeling really good, which I like to say that because the last few Full Moons have been really intense. And I feel like now there's a lot of clarity. Um, maybe we're still a little bit like confused or like trying to figure out like where we're going because like Mercury is still retrograde and we'll talk about that. But um, anyways, this full moon is an opportunity for us to really understand what we now need for safety and financial security and stability and how we feel we can trust people. And I feel like we've been gathering a lot of information over the past few months and years, really. And now this feels like a good opportunity for us to really recognize how much we've grown and how much we've changed and evolved. And that's beautiful. And it's a very empowering full moon. So we're going to talk about that in a little bit more detail. Uh, if this is your first workshop, thank you for joining us. Thank you for investing into yourself. Um, for everyone who's been coming back, I love you. It's pretty consistent now that like over 10,000 people are here. So like, wow, fucking mind blowing. Um, yeah, let's jump in. These are donation based, of course, so you can pay whatever you want. Um, there will be a link below. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, this is my job. I also have beautiful souls that work with me. So I need to pay all of them. So like, yeah. I, I really appreciate all the donations, truly. Um, okay, so I kind of want to start with the tarot because the first card out is a king of coins. And if you want to talk about stability, bitch, put that down, okay? If you've already downloaded the Astro Calendar, take out your notes page. And um, I would put down your notes for uh, what this full moon is looking like and feeling like, because it can feel a little bit overwhelming in some ways with just recognizing how much we've been carrying. Like I have a 10 of wands here, but then there's healing. We have the stars. So the 10 of wands is like, how much have you been carrying for other people? How much responsibility have you taken when it's not your responsibility? It's not your path. It's not your circus. It's not your monkeys. It's just like, you don't need to be doing everything for everyone. And this full moon in cancer is helping us understand like, wow, I've been really pouring into a lot of other people's cups and they have like a hole in the bottom that's just leaking and they don't give a shit and they're just doing whatever they want. Maybe some of these people taking advantage of you and your kind heart. Um, this cancer energy is really going to be showing us also where we continue to play small because maybe something connected to our ancestors, our family um, lineage, maybe our parents taught us something like, you know, money doesn't grow on trees or um, you saw someone struggling, or maybe you had a partner who struggled for a long time and you noticed like, wow, um, I almost feel bad because I want to be abundant and I feel like I can expand and find opportunities and I want to make more money and have stability, but I feel bad because these other people, they don't have that. And, and oh, maybe I should just play small and I don't want to, you know, stand out and you should. Did you hear that? Like, I don't know what the fuck that was, <laughs> but someone's knocking on the wall. It's like, you should, you should stand up. You should stand out because you are an example. You are an example of what abundance looks like. You are an example of what life can be for other people who maybe they're stuck in their own mindsets, self-limiting beliefs, et cetera. So it's like, there's a lot of things that we've been carrying. You don't need to carry it. You don't need to carry it anymore. It's time to let it go. It's time to let it go. It's time to drop it and to dive deeper into just the healing and the understanding of who you are on a soul level and what you are here to do. Because other people also won't understand your journey and they don't need to. And if they want to support you, great. And if it's not equal give and take, bye, bitch, get on with your life. It's just like, I don't want you here. And the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, like, you think this guy has a like scarcity mindset? Like, no, he's like, bitch, what do you need? Sure, here's that because I know the universe will bring me more. But he's also very good at budgeting. 
his time, energy, money, which means what? Boundaries and structure and foundation and stability and security. And all of those themes are connected to this Cancer energy. Now, the Cancer full moon is opposite the sun, which is why it's a full moon, because the moon is fully illuminated. So the sun is in the opposite area of the sky. And the opposite area of the sky is Capricorn. So Capricorn's on one side, Cancer's on the other side. So the two of them, that's the parental units of the Zodiac. So like we have the father on one side, Capricorn, and we have the mother on the other side, Cancer. We all have both of these energies inside of us, our divine feminine and masculine energies. We have both, but sometimes they're out of balance. So we really need to figure out where are we doing too much and not resting enough? Where we may be getting a little bit lazy and not uh, putting in the work, but where can we work smarter and not harder? How can we ask for help if we need it? Where can we figure out how to structure our time, energy, money, our budgeting? How do we figure out what to invest in? What is really benefiting me? What relationships, people, projects, things? These are all themes that are coming up for us over the last while. And now we have an opportunity to really understand what we need to feel more safe and secure and stable in our relationships. And the three of wands... Three of Wands Reverse is asking you to review your connections, review your projects, review your collaborations, the people, the friends, the lovers, family. Who are you connecting with that is not really supportive of your journey ahead? And how do you reassess that connection? How do you reevaluate that investment? And how do you figure out how to change gears and move in a new direction if you need to? Mercury retrograding in Capricorn is asking you to figure out what is not working for you for the long term, what will not work for the long term, and what behaviors have you been holding on to that now it's time to let go of, and maybe there's a little bit of a challenge there because we still have um, Chiron retrograding in Aries, and Aries is connected to our identity, Aries is connected to who we are, how we show up, what we go after, but Aries is connected to the planet Mars and Mars is retrograde. So right now, I'm sorry, if you're like a little bit confused, I'm going to always tell you what that means. It means that right now your identity is changing and there are impulses or behaviors or things that you've been going after. Maybe you've been chasing them. Maybe you've just been doing so much. And now we have an opportunity to just stop and review and reflect and say, do I really want to continue on this road? Do I really want to continue to fight for these things or to fight with these people? Is this worth my investment? And if not, Mercury retrograde, how do I review that and identify that and figure out a better way to move through life? How do I figure out a better foundation that keeps me, Cancer full moon, feeling more safe and comfortable and that I can trust the people around me and that I know these people will hold me because I hold them and it's equal give and take. So that's kind of the overall theme right now for this full moon. I really like this full moon because this is the first full moon that is by itself. It is not conjunct, which means, so conjunct means together. It is not conjunct another planet. So the last like five full full moons, I believe, the last five have been like conjunct like Uranus, Mars, fucking whatever. And it's like, boom, 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 boom. All of these full moons have been together with another planet, together with another planet, together with another planet. And this one is like, bitch, I am breaking free. I am on my own. I'm standing in my power. I'm understanding what I really value now and what I want for this next chapter and how I want to move forward. And I'm understanding what is making me feel safe and stable Because when we feel safe and stable, we can create. And when we can create and we have more opportunities for self-expression and to follow our gut, remember, full moon in cancer. Cancer energy is very intuitive. So trust yourself. Trust yourself more than you trust other people, more than you trust me. If I'm telling you something, you're like, "Mm, that doesn't resonate with me today. Then don't accept that and be like, well, Chris told me that I need to do these things. Like, no, bitch, trust yourself. And it's like, don't listen to your boss and just, oh, okay. Like you just convinced me that I need to do these things or like your parents who are telling you, you can't leave that job or, oh, I, I want to leave this relationship or this connection or these friends or whatever, but uh, I just, I don't know if I'll find something better. You will. And you need to trust that path. You need to trust that 
energy. That is your intuition telling you, your guides, you are highly protected and guided, especially if you're here and you're doing this work. So yeah, we have an opportunity right now to understand what we're still carrying, what is overwhelming, what is not ours, and we're going to drop it. And then I love this too, because we have, um, this is the star and this is a card connected to Aquarius. And right now we have Venus who just moved into Aquarius. So Venus, sorry, Venus, Venus in Aquarius is an energy of like, I am reinventing what I want for love. I am reinventing the types of connections I want, the people I want in my life, how I experience joy and pleasure and how I want to maybe make money, especially with that Mercury retrograding in Capricorn, a lot of resources, trying to figure out how to budget things in a different way, trying to figure out how to maybe make new streams of income. And Venus in Aquarius is asking you to get very creative, think outside the box. So this is a new way also for us to show up in relationships. Thank you. For us to show up in relationships and still be separate. Aquarius is very individualistic in a good way. Aquarius is very, I am me, I am here. We can be in relationship, but I still need to be me. Not I lose myself in you. And cancer energy can have us, you know, losing ourselves in relationships, not understanding what I need because I'm focused on your needs, not really accepting myself and my priorities and my requests. And instead, prioritizing those lower so that I can match your needs and I can change for you so you feel comfortable. Fuck that. It's like we are done with that kind of energy. So Venus in Aquarius is asking you to figure out what you really want from your relationships and how you can show up in new ways to figure out what feels better, more safe and secure, and how you can, that's with business, that's with friends, that's with love. And how you can actually show up for yourself and start to really accept all of the abundance in your life that you actually deserve. Because remember, the South Node is still in Scorpio. So we have a lot of old programs, self-limiting beliefs, all of these old ideas about love, about our value system, about who we are, our identity, what we do, all of our impulses. It's all up for review again for another few months. And it's like, that is coming up because we are purging it. We are releasing it. We are clearing it forever. If you want help with removing some of those people, projects, old identities, versions of yourself, um, below you can find the new year workshop. It's also pay what you can. It's incredible. And we do, we focus on a cord cutting and removal in that workshop. Very powerful. Today's uh, meditation, we're going to start now pretty much. It'll be like around eight minutes. It's really short. Um, we focus more on stepping into your power because I feel like this is almost like a new moon, which is strange. It feels more new, new, new and like opening as opposed to like so heavy and sad. Mind you, like two days ago, I had a fucking meltdown. So it's like, uh, of course, like maybe some of us are still really feeling the like Woo, full moon, of course. But there's an undercurrent of like power here and feeling confident again. And I really like that. Um, so this meditation is going to be a little bit different, but if you want to focus on a cord cutting, it's the new year. I strongly suggest clearing those cords. That workshop is below and it's also donation based. Um, okay. I think that's good. So we're going to start now with an energy clearing and then it's going to lead us into the meditation and then we are done. All right. So if you want to throw this on pause and get comfortable, go for it. Um, I always like to acknowledge that the majority of people taking these workshops are settlers on their land. So we have a role and responsibility in reconciliation. And also deaf people are real. Deaf people are real and they wanna be included. So do the right thing and add captions to your video content. It's really simple, okay? Also hire an interpreter if you can, learn ASL. Okay, I want you, I'm gonna work with this. This is selenite, this is very good for cleansing. So we're going to focus on this energy today. I want you to first close your eyes. Um, just connect with the breath and the body for a minute.
And I want you to imagine that there is a green fire burning in front of you. And imagine that in your hand, you have a golden comb. And just follow your intuition anywhere in your body or in your energy field, because we all have an energy field around our body. Anywhere that you feel there's tension or there's something that's like, ooh, I don't, I don't really like that there. I don't want that there. That's not my energy. Just comb it out. Just comb it out of your aura. You can actually move your hands over your body and comb off just all of the stuff that we pick up. It's not yours. And just toss it into that green fire. And continue with this visual. I'm going to use some distance energy symbols to help clear you. And I'm also going to add some um, sound bowls. So we are going to just focus on clearing and throwing it in the, sh in the fire. Now I'm going to use different symbols and I want you to visualize white light is pouring down from above, like the sky, oh, sorry about that. Like the sky just opens and white light comes through or maybe you're in the shower and it's water or it's raining, but just imagine that white light starts pouring down and it's washing your body clean. It's adding extra protection and it's just enhancing your auric fields so that you have more energy to move through the next two weeks. So just imagine that white light is pouring down from above. I'm going to use different energy symbols now to enhance that. We're going to start this meditation by taking three deep breaths. I'm going to count you in. So you can inhale, two, three, four, and hold. And exhale, two, three, four. And one more. We're going to inhale, two, three, four, and hold. I'm going to exhale, two, three, four. One last breath, really filling the belly, dropping the shoulders, relaxing the jaw. I want you to inhale, two, three, four, and hold. And exhale, two, three, four. 
this full moon in cancer is asking us to step into things that make us feel safe. Things that make us feel understood, secure. The deep connections that really invite opportunity and expansion, safety and intimacy, and the new habits, our new boundaries. So I want to take this opportunity to witness ourselves and the decisions we're making that keep us more stable. So the first thing I want you to do is to just visualize yourself doing one thing. Maybe it's something you're already doing. Maybe it's something you want to integrate deeper into your daily practice. But I want you to just visualize something that makes you feel safe in your body. Maybe it's eating the right foods, staying hydrated. Maybe there's certain habits or behaviors that we want to let go of. And if we let go of those behaviors, what types of habits or behaviors do we want to initiate? I want you to see yourself physically at your best and feel that, feel that energy in the body. Feel the emotions that come with that. Emotions are energy in motion. So the longer we can hold that vibration, the quicker we can step into that reality. So visualize yourself with a new daily practice or a new habit or behavior. Maybe it's just getting outside more. Where do you feel grounded? Where do you feel safe in your body? Maybe it's in meditation. Maybe it's in the bath. Maybe it's in bed. Maybe it's out, moving, exploring, trusting that you know which direction to move in. And I want you to just feel this energy around you. Feel these emotions moving through your body. And give yourself permission to step deeper into your power. Now, the next thing I want you to do is to think about relationships in your life, or maybe just one person. Maybe you don't even know this person yet, and you want to experience this level of safety, this level of intimate connection. But right now, I want you to visualize yourself experiencing that type of connection. Look at the joy. Look at the safety and the security and the trust that you are experiencing and feel that in your body. Feel that you can trust the people around you. Feel that you are safe to ask for help, that you are understood, that other people are willing to support you and to provide you with what you need Trust that you don't need to take care of everyone all the time. Allow yourself to feel held by these people. And maybe you can't think of a specific person, or maybe you're calling in a new friend, a new lover, but I want you to just feel in your body, feel the vibration of gratitude for being in relationship with the type of person that you can trust. I want you to feel that you are secure, that you are supported. 
and allow that vibration and that emotion and that feeling in the body to expand outwardly, to send out the signal that this is the experience I want, this is the feeling that I want, and allow the universe to bring to you the person or the people that will give you that experience. Trust that they are coming. Trust that that person, that these people right now are somewhere. And feel into the beauty of that, that your soul family, that your twin flame, that your soulmate, that the people that are meant to find you right now are somewhere looking for you. And maybe for some of you, you've already met some of these people and send them gratitude. And give yourself permission to lean deeper into these relationships. These relationships that keep you grounded, that keep you safe. These relationships that understand you, that respect you. And give yourself permission to embrace all of these connections and to be open to receiving the new connections that are making their way to you right now. And now the last thing I want to look at is our finances and our resources. Because one of the best ways to feel safe and secure is to know that we are financially taken care of, that we are abundant beyond belief. So I want you to see yourself as abundant as you wish to be. All of your needs are met. You have enough resources to share, to donate, to support the people around you, and you trust that the universe will continue to pour into you more and more abundance, more and more finances, because you continue to outwardly pour and outwardly share the abundance that you are given. I want you to feel that you have a solid understanding of your own boundaries of when enough is enough, of when not to give. Because not everything you receive is meant to be shared. Not everything you receive is meant to be given away. You are supposed to keep some for yourself. You need to take care of yourself first. So I want you to see that you are in a space of security, and safety, and you have prioritized yourself and your own well being and your own structures, your own boundaries, your own foundation. And from this foundation, you can lift others. You can teach others how to lift themselves. You can be an example of what abundance looks like. So I want you to hold the gratitude. Feel the emotions of all of that abundance pouring into you, pouring through you, and give yourself permission to receive. This is your birthright. Accept it. And as we sit in this space, we're going to take one last inhale to lock all of this energetic vibration into the subconscious mind. So let's inhale, two, three, four, and hold. And release, two, three, and four. And when you're ready, I invite you to bring some gentle movement back into the body. Moving your fingers and toes and stretching out your neck and welcome back to the space.
Okay. Okay, so now you can pause on my face if you can catch it. <laughs> and I want you to just write down a list of whatever you were seeing in that visualization. So under this full moon in Cancer, I invite the following, and then you're just gonna write it down. You can throw it on pause and you can go for it. Ah. Did you get me? Did you get me? <laughs> I bet you didn't. Okay. Welcome back. Um, that's it. So I love you. Um, thank you for investing into yourself. Thank you for trusting me and my guides and the information I love to share. Um, thank you for all of the donations. The link is below. Um, also, if you, I would suggest very strongly because this is the new year, um, take the new year workshop. It is also donation based. There's also a tarot pick a pile. You'll see the timestamps. The full video is not one hour. It's maybe the same as this, but, um, the, the last half is like a, um, tarot pick a pile. So if you want, um, more information about what energies are coming through with you right now, you can go pick a pile as well. Um, we also have the 2023 tarot forecast that is now available. That information will be below. It includes a forecast for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Mars placements. It also includes a monthly overview with advice, what to avoid, what to do, opportunities. There's also pick a piles for each month, and it includes a yearly 2023 collective tarot reading numerology, et cetera. It's like a 12 hour video. We have chapters and timestamps. It's really easy to navigate and you'll use it all year. You don't need to watch it all at once. Um, very helpful. The last thing is the astro calendar, which is fucking incredible. So if you've already downloaded it, amazing. Um, if not, you can download that separately or you can get it as a bundle with the forecast. That's going to be your best price. Um, and it includes all of the planetary movements for each month. It also includes, yes, sort of like a, a do's and a don'ts, what to expect for the month as an energy overview, the, um, the astrology, obviously, like what's going to be happening for the year, for each month. Uh, you'll see the planets on the calendar. It's an actual calendar that you can print. Like I've laminated mine and have it as like a booklet. It's beautiful. So yeah, all that information is below. I love you guys. Please send this to a friend. Hit the like button, subscribe. It helps my channel get out there. I really appreciate you and I will see you very soon. Ciao. Ciao, lamb chowder.